In today's lesson, we'll be learning about and practicing with fraction to decimal to percent equivalents using the power triangle meeting the requirements for TEKS 64G. The power triangle is a tool we may use that could help us to remember how to rewrite decimals, fractions, and percents to other equivalent forms. So how can I take a decimal and write the same value as a fraction? Or how can I take a decimal and write the same value as a percent? I can work in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, around the power triangle. We're going to begin by writing a fraction in the form of a decimal. How can I take a fraction and write the exact same value in the form of a decimal? Here's how. You divide your numerator by your denominator. The denominator stays outside. So, if I divide 1 by 4, I know that I can't make any groups of 4 from 1. I cannot subtract 4 from 1. So I put 0. 4 times 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. I have a remainder. I don't want a remainder. I need to draw a decimal and then push that decimal from in the house to the top of the house and add a 0. This gives me the opportunity to bring that 0 down, which gives me now the number 10. And I can make two groups of 4 from 10. Two groups of 4, or 2 times 4, would be 8. And 10 minus 8 would be 2. I have a remainder. I don't want a remainder. I add another 0 and bring it down. Now I have 20. And I know I can make 5 groups of 4 from 20. 5 times 4 would be 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0. When I have no remainder, I'm finished. My fraction, 1 fourth, is equivalent or the same value as the decimal 0 0.25. The fraction, 1 fourth, is equivalent, meaning the same value as the decimal 0 0.25. Now, this should make a lot of sense, because think about it. The fraction one-fourth can also sometimes be heard as one-quarter. And money, one-quarter, would be written as 0.25. So one-quarter as a fraction, one over four, is the same as one-quarter as a decimal, 0.25. The next move inside the triangle is to write a decimal, say, for example, 0.23, as an equivalent percent. If I want to rewrite a decimal as an equivalent percent, I need to multiply that decimal by 100. And if you remember, powers of 10 means when I multiply by 100, I simply move the decimal two times to the right so that the decimal 0.23 would be equivalent, or the same value, as 23%. Point 0.23 multiplied by 100 will give me 23%. The next move around the triangle is from percent to fraction. If I want to write a percent as an equivalent fraction, a fraction of the same value, I need to eliminate the percent sign. and write my percent value over 100. Now, why over 100? 
Well, the word percent means of 100. So 12% would be 12 of 100. And we would write that with 100 as a denominator. And now we would simplify. So 12 over 100 is the equivalent fraction to 12%. But we also know that 12 and 100 share a greatest common factor of 4. Each can be divided by 4, which gives us a simplified or reduced fraction of 3 25ths, or 3 over 25. 12% is equivalent, or the same value, as 3 over 25. Now, when we work our way around the triangle in the other direction, going counterclockwise, if I want to take a decimal, say 0.37, and write it as its equivalent fraction, a fraction of the same value, all I need to do is read that decimal out loud, so in this case, 37 hundredths. And I need to write that, 37 over 100, 37 hundredths would be written as the value, 37, over the place value, hundredths. Now, in this case, 37 is a prime number. Its only factors are 1 and 37, so there's no simplifying to do. The equivalent of the decimal point three seven or thirty seven hundredths in fraction form is thirty seven over one hundred. As I continue around the triangle, if I would like to take a fraction and rewrite it as its equivalent percent, I need to rewrite this fraction with a denominator of one hundred. Again, why one hundred? Well percent is of one hundred. Right now, I have 3 of 5, or 3 fifths. I need to know, well, how big would the numerator be if my denominator was 100? 3 of 5 is the same as how many of 100? Well, I know that I can increase 5 to 100 by using a scale factor of 20. In other words, I'm going to multiply 5 times 20 to get 100. So then I need to do the same thing to my numerator to find my unknown value. 3 times 20 is 60. This numerator is my percent, the number of 100. So we know the fraction 3 fifths is equivalent, or the same value, as 60%. Our last move around the triangle, clockwise, is from percent to decimal. If I want to take a percent and rewrite it as a decimal, an equivalent decimal, a decimal of the same value, I need to divide by 100. And if I remember, powers of 10, when I divide by 100, I simply move the decimal two times to the left. So first, I take my percent, 15%, I eliminate the percent sign. Now where's the decimal in 15? Oh, you should know that it's right there. The decimal follows the whole number. We don't write it just as a matter of convenience, but it's there. I now need to divide by 100, which means move the decimal once and then twice, so that the decimal equivalent of 15% is 0.15 or 15 hundredths. Which makes sense, because if you remember, percent meant of 100. So 15% should be 15 of 100, or as a decimal, 15 hundredths. Let's go ahead and wrap up the lesson. 
In this lesson, I showed you how you could rewrite fractions, decimals, and percents in other forms. In other words, I could take a fraction and write an equivalent decimal, a decimal of the same value. Or I could take a fraction and write a percent of the same value. And the same would be true from percent to decimal, percent to fraction and decimal to percent and decimal to fraction. No matter where I started, there was always a way for me to rewrite that value in another form. Keep in mind, we're not changing the values. We're writing the equivalent value in a different form. 